Girl is moving on out. Hello, my loves. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new vloggy vlog. So, this is going to be a weekend vlog, I guess we could call it. Today is Thursday, and I'm going to be recording until Saturday. So, you guys will see all the things going on in my life for the next few days. So, today is Thursday, September. 8th and I just got home from a am I focused am I focused am I in focus why I look a little blurry all right that's better so I just got home from a work event and I stopped to get food on my way home I got crave you guys know I'm always craving crave I've been having such a stressful day and I was just like crave will make it feel better so what did I do I got crave let me show y'all what I got. I got my regular dagglum. So I got the vegetable fried rice. I got the fried chicken. I already started nibbling on it. White meat fried chicken. White meat over dark meat any day. Debate with your mama. <laughs> and then I got some french fries. Mm -mm -mm. And the fries are kind of trash though. And I got, mm, I got a homemade fruit punch. So freaking good. So yeah, I'm about to devour this real quick. And then I'm... We'll carry on with the day. I'm so exhausted. Like, when I say exhausted, I mean exhausted all caps locks. I've had such a long day, but I'm about to go to dinner with my bro Josh. Um, we've been planning this. We planned this like two weeks ago. And I'm tired, but I'm like, I don't, I want to stop bailing on people. Like, I know, you know, I'm always put myself first. That's one thing about it. But I just, didn't want to bail especially since we had to reschedule so we are going to parm tonight for dinner him and i actually spoke about it because i posted one day like i want to go to carbone but if you guys don't know you have to make an appointment not an appointment a reservation let me do my brows as we're talking you have to make a reservation for carbone a month in advance and i don't know what i want to eat next month I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like, how am I supposed to know this month what I'm going to want to eat next month? Please let me know because I wouldn't even want to know what I want to eat tomorrow. Like, that's the type of person I am. He told me, like, not my brazi on the back, but he told me that the... Wow. But anyway, he told me the guy who owns Carbone has another restaurant it's called Parm. He said the food is cheaper and it's... um like it tastes the same so i was just like let's go let's try it out so we're going today so we're going to parm i think they have like three locations in the city we're going to the upper west side one i believe so yeah i'm gonna get ready real quick it's kind of chilly outside so i'm just like what am i supposed to put on but i have something in mind so let me just throw it on real quick find the outfit but i don't know what bag to wear so we don't see but this bodysuit is from Aritzia. Sorry, I'm just in my bathroom because I just came here to fix my makeup. I don't know what it is, but I've really been preferring to do my makeup standing up. I don't know. But this bodysuit is from Aritzia. It's this pretty pink color and it's from this brand in Aritzia because Aritzia does carry different brands of Baba Tone. And I got this in a size small. Never tried this on before, but we gonna see what it's hitting for. This thing fit like a mother freaking glove. Hold on, let me put my pink on. <laughs> wow, I may need this in more colors. I got the pink because they had it in store, and like, I guess this is like, I don't want to say a new color in a retail, but they had like so many. You know, it's when a new color rolls out in a retail because each and every item that they carry is going to be available in that color. But they had a size small. It looked like they just put it out because they had like one of each size, and I'm like, I'm trying to incorporate more color into my wardrobe. So here we go. So I'm just trying to clip the coochie area. Okay, here we go. Oh, she is snatched. And I don't have on a bra, by the way. Not gonna put on a bra. My um, screen is a little dirty. But this is how it looks. I look a little wide but it's okay 
And then I'm going to put on these jeans that I got from Nordstrom a few vlogs ago. These A Gold, A Goldy jeans. I'm trying to show y'all my outfits. I really want to show you guys my outfits because your girl's wearing her clothes. Like, who is she? If you guys know me, you guys know I wear the same damn thing all the time. I don't even know if this looks cute. Yeah. These, um... This bodysuit definitely calls for a high waist jean right now. Because I look so freaking big. Like, oh, my body just start working out again. But I'll tell y'all, I don't want to work today. <laughs> I don't want to work today. But today's Friday. Happy Friday. Today's September 9th. And it's Friday. <laughs> I'm just like punching the air. Like, oh my God. One last day. Friday's always the hardest. But I went to dinner last night at Parm with my bro Josh. We had a great time. I haven't caught up with him in a while. So we were just talking, 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 talking. The food was good. The food was really good. But I was so tired that I couldn't eat the way I wanted to eat. Am I the only one who feels that way? Like certain times, depending on my level of tiresome, I can't eat how I want to eat. I don't know. But um, yeah, I had a good time. Would we'll definitely go back. The prices weren't bad at all. So um, I mentioned earlier that Parma is owned by the same people, a person who owns Carbone. But um. One, it's easier to get a reservation. Two, they have more locations. And three, the price is a little cheaper. So, um, yeah. I still want to try Carbone, but not on my coin. Like, certain places I want to try. I'm like, I want to try it out, but I don't want to pay for it. You feel me? But, yeah. So, that was last night. Today's Friday. Today, i um, going to Tears Fashion Show in Brooklyn. But I think beforehand, I'm going to go out to eat with my girl, Nakai. Her and I have been trying to catch up for so long. And I hit her and I was like, oh, what are you doing before the show? And she was like, nothing. So we're going to try to grab like food or drinks or whatever before we go to the fashion show. I still don't know what I'm wearing. The show is at 6. So I have a couple of hours to figure it out. It's currently 9 a.m. I'm about to start working. But I have a top. And I have shoes, and I have a bag, and I have glasses. I basically don't have a bottom. I ordered something to wear on my bottom. It's supposed to come today, UPS, at by 7 p.m. So, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. But if it does come on time, my outfit is going to look so cute. If it doesn't come on time, I have backup options. But they just don't hit the way that this outfit is going to hit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what's going on. And, um... I, low key, I do want to take the train my pockets tonight we want to take the train but i don't know if i have time so i'm just praying that ups pulls up early this morning maybe this could be their first second third fifth tenth stop just drop my stuff off in a timely manner okay and that is about it for now i still haven't had breakfast i stay wash my face i stay wash my mouth i'm trying to finish editing this vlog so i can put it up for you guys today didn't realize that it was an hour long so i don't know where i was going trying to combine this vlog and that vlog because it would have been a whole production okay so i'm happy i decided to split them up so i'm gonna try to upload well i'm not gonna try i'm going to upload this vlog that i edited today and then you guys will see this vlog on sunday trying to get back into it but i just have so many like i have so much vlog footage so i'm just like let me just piece them together and get them out to you guys i do owe you guys like sit down videos so i'm gonna try to work on i'm not gonna try i'm going to work on those videos this weekend 
and i'm gonna give you guys zara haul i need to finish recording a full collective haul that video is going to be so long like when i tell y'all so long i hope y'all ready to spend your coins okay and i have to i have some of the videos that i need to record so i'm gonna get them done this weekend so i can edit them edit them throughout next week and give them to you guys but my camera battery is blinking right on time because the girl needs to start working so i'll see you guys when i start getting ready later hey guys so it's a little later in the day and my package still is not here and it's almost four o'clock so i think well i don't think i'm about to start getting ready so that um i can at least be there on time and as i'm getting ready hopefully my package arrives it says it should be here by seven but i literally have to leave the house by like five five thirty the latest but yeah after the tear show that's how you guys i'm going to the tear fashion show but after the tear fashion show there are two other shows that tab wanted to go to so we'll probably go to that after and then just be outside it's new york fashion week like if you've ever been to new york fashion week you know that the vibes around this time is can you get me in who has an invite what's the info to rsvp what's the vibes after like new york fashion week is like you don't just go to one event you go to one event and then you meet somebody there who brings you to another event mentions another event and then a party at the end of the night that's how fashion week goes so i'm ready i can't do fashion week during the week i learned that what was it two years ago i'm like on a weeknight <laughs> no so today's friday so we outside they say they outside but they ain't that outside but we are outside period so that is my plans for the evening i just finished watching jackie on his new upload you guys a little backstory so before i started my youtube channel i literally used to go back to jackie's like oldest videos from when she first started her channel and just sit there and watch them because a lot of times when we start doing something we expect to be at at like a high level you know what i'm saying like People who set their YouTube channel now, they're like, oh my God, I have to have the whole setup, the camera, the this or that. And it's like we realize, we don't realize or we tend not to realize or people tend not to realize that the people who have millions of, of subscribers already, they were where we were one day at day one, at upload one. You know what I'm saying? And when they were at upload one, they weren't giving effects. They weren't giving beauty room they weren't given recording room they were given very much a struggle and that's something that i really appreciate so the fact that jackie Ina, i believe she still has her old videos up but the fact that i was able to go back and watch like her first youtube videos i really appreciated that because after a while people just go back and delete stuff and i'm like no i need to see how you were when you first started because that's that's what i can relate to right now you know what i'm saying so when I first started my YouTube channel, I used to watch Jackie's oldest videos and like she would upload new videos at the time. But I just prefer to watch her older videos because it would just inspire me. Like she was sitting on the floor recording her videos, like sitting on the floor recording her videos. And the fact that I already had like, you know, a little stool to sit on my little radiator is my backdrop. I knew that I, I don't want to say I knew that there was hope. I know that there's hope, period. That's one thing about it. But I just feel like it just further inspired me to say like, you know, one, I'm always grateful for what I have. Whether it's what I want or not, I'm grateful for anything that I have. That's number one. And number two is that I can make shit happen and I'm going to make shit happen. And I'm telling y'all now, this is only the beginning. So watching her new video really brought me back to um, the times where I really looked at her for inspiration you know what i'm saying like i still view jackie as an inspirational person but you guys know that she took a break from youtube which i 100 percent get i 100 percent understand and i 100 percent respect her for but i can't wait for her new content so if you have not watched jackie ina's new upload make sure you guys watch it period support my sis and um yeah so that was a nice little way to like you know end my work day i feel so inspired for the weekend you guys know i have so much to do so yes i say all of that to say that if you are someone who has a goal which is all of us <laughs> if you are someone who sees yourself somewhere make sure that you're putting in the work you have to do to get there nothing in life is easy make sure that you are being consistent make sure that you are being discipline and make sure you're doing what you gotta do to do what you gotta do period like i am consistent on youtube because i like to post like i like to connect with you guys i like to show you guys what i'm doing i like to edit my videos you know what i'm saying even though i don't have much time to do that right now but <laughs> y'all get the point but i'm consistent because i want to be i'm not consistent because like 
of the money like yeah make a little coin from youtube but that's that's nothing to me you know what i'm saying like not to brag or anything but i don't sit here and upload videos every other day for money like it comes cool but i'm not like oh my god i need this coin let me upload a video real quick that is not me that is not the tea that i give that is not the tea that i ever want to give i upload because i genuinely want to upload i upload because i genuinely like to upload so yeah just be consistent with anything you want to do whether you have a business whether you have a social platform whether you whatever it is that you want to do if you're writing a book and you want to get it in target be consistent with what you whatever you have to do no matter what your goal is but this one is to sit here and give you guys a little ted talk or whatever but um yeah my skin is doing so freaking well like oh my god do y'all yeah i have some dark spots but we working on it period so i can't wait to share like you know my update with you guys i do plan on doing a acne journey update real real soon so you guys can look forward to that but i'm looking at my toenails because they are so freaking long oh my god i've been trying to get a pedicure all week and i have to wait until next week so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and charge everything up my light my camera battery my phones because i don't know how long i'm about to be outside so i just gotta be prepared but yeah i will be back once i am getting ready because i do want to record like a little get ready with me to our makeup together <laughs> and all of that so yeah i'll be back my package arrived i was in a bathroom setting up to do some sponsor content but let me get this package so we can see if things fit did it even peep that i had it on a tear shirt but, um, my package arrived, so I'm about to open it. I hope that one of these fit, because I actually ordered two sizes, and I never got bottoms from this brand. So, I ordered this on Ukes, in case I forget to mention it. I don't know if it's still available. But I'll see if I can link it down below. But. Oh shit. Alright, so let me show y'all the vision. So I got. No, it's not this. So I got this Heron Preston bodysuit from Essence. It's a long sleeve mesh bodysuit. And then it has like their logo on the neck, collar. And I figured I could pair it with these denim shorts. So, which one is the 27? This one. So, these denim shorts, I think these shorts are so freaking fire. Hair on pressed on as well. And I could have put this on with my black Balenciaga boots. Because it's, it's, um... Warm outside right now, but y'all know as the night goes on, it gets a little chilly. So I ordered a size 27 and a size 28 in these shorts because as I mentioned, I never ordered bottoms from this brand before. So let me try on the 27. Let's see what it's hitting for. And I can return the other size, so I wasn't too pressed. I'm like, I'd rather get both sizes and see which one fits. Ooh, 27 is too small, baby. So good thing I got that 28. So, this is a 27. Don't mind the mess in my room. This is a 27. Them thighs is squished. Yeah, the size 28 fits way better. So, I'm going to wear the shorts, the bodysuit, my boots, and I'll find, like, accessories once I'm getting ready. But it's almost 4.30, and I still haven't even gotten a shower yet. So, am I going to be ready in an hour? Maybe not. Maybe will don't know let us see let's go brb <laughs> hold on hold on because your girl is looking too good okay i just finished getting ready i did my makeup no foundation makeup routine no lashes this is the um bodysuit as you guys can see it's mesh and then i put this black bra underneath it fits so freaking nice and then I have on the black shorts and my black Balenciaga boots. So I'll definitely take pictures and videos so you guys can see the full look. And then I'm just carrying my little Prada bag. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just carrying my little Prada bag. I'll be vlogging on my phone. About to head out. My cab is three minutes away. So I'll see you guys outside.
wish I would've went exact. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprints to put back. Check these boy and move back. They only give a niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the mat. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G-Block. You know I gotta bring the D-Block. Cause you know how sticky it fit. working the event with Camille Rose and I'm about to head home but both of my phones are dying of course so I'm gonna stop in Starbucks real quick and hopefully charge my phones real quick before I head home but it was great it was nice meeting the girls um but y'all know how to buy Brooklyn so Hey loves, so I end up at Cross County Walmart. I don't know, I just didn't want to go home. I'm here, I'm gonna do some shopping in Zara. So yeah, it's kind of chilly outside too. These are so fire. Brief intermission, I really gotta pee. And you know when you try things on your pee comes down even more is it just me but yeah i need to empty this but these is cute too I'm in Forever 21 now. These jeans have potential, but this makes it look so cheap. See, yeah, I know I love a good grip material. This is about to fit like a glove. Since when does Macy's carry Joe Malone? 
but this is so good. And it carries Tom for it too. Okay, Macy's. This is a new one. Let's see. This one like a big red. And they have Gucci, but I feel like they've been at Gucci fragrances. Macy's carries cotton on now. This stuff is so freaking good. I don't think they have good pieces in here though. They just have this. I mean, I like, I mean, I like. It's a no, it's a no. Kind of cute, but they like linen or cargo pants. On to naked wardrobe. Let's see what they have. This look like it would fit too mother freaking good. Uh. Hey guys. Ooh. This light is kind of bright. <laughs> hey you guys. It is Sunday, September 11th. 9-11. And as we know, 9-11, we... Um, celebrate or we remember the individuals who lost their lives um in the tragic incident in new york city so i pray for all of the families i pay for all of the friends i pay for anyone who was affected by that tragic event i pray for everyone who was affected by that tragic event i pray for everyone who's traveling today i pray for anyone who travels in fear because of this i pray for everyone who is affected by this event but today is sunday september 11 and i have something that i want to share with you guys i shared it on instagram already so if you guys don't follow me on instagram make sure you guys follow me there because you guys may hear things here first may hear things there first but your girl is your girl's moving out <laughs> your girl is moving out i know i know I know you guys are surprised you guys are shocked you guys have questions but the first thing I'm gonna say and I told y'all on Instagram is I'm gonna tell y'all but don't ask me any questions right now okay your girl is overwhelmed <laughs> so much so yes I wanted to let you guys know that your girl is moving out I'm really excited I know that you guys are like finally finally and it's just like once again, no questions. We'll get into everything. I promise you, okay? Yeah, your girl's moving out. I don't know what to say right now, like how I feel. Um, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. You guys know, well, if you guys don't know Baxter, if this is your first time on my channel, I live at home with my family. This is like my childhood home. I've been living in this room for years before I even went to college and I graduated college six years ago. So y'all can do the math. Like I've been in this room for so long, but this room holds so many memories. Like I remember when I moved, well, when I came home from college, I'm like, I want to start my YouTube channel. And my dad was really supportive. He painted my walls for me. They used to be like a mint green color. I'll see if I can put a picture find a picture and put it here but they used to be like a mint green color and i made it like this purple gray color which i still love but um yeah i have so many memories in this room so i'm gonna miss this room okay i'm really gonna miss this room but it is time to level up folks okay it is time to put on my girl big girl pants and venture off on my own so i'm really excited i know a lot of you guys are like about Ty. A lot of people asked me in the questions before, like, when are you moving? In the comments before, like, when are you moving out? And I did everything on my own timing. I trusted God's timing. I trusted God's guidance. So, everything that I am going to do, like, every thing that comes with this journey i have trusted god through it and i know that god is protecting me covering me i know my dad is protecting me covering me so um yeah i just wanted to share the news here i don't know what else to say and y'all may be um listening to this portion of the vlog like girl you do not seem that excited yeah i am tired okay i am motherfucking tired imagine having to pack if you watch my videos before, if you know me, y'all know I have a lot of shit. Imagine me having to pack up all of my shit by my, not by myself, because I had some help. But still, imagine, imagine, like literally, you can see the top shelf. I don't know if you guys have ever been able to see top shelves in here. 
<laughs> your girl is tired okay i am tired but i'm so excited and you guys are gonna see that through the content that i've been recording because i was looking back like damn girl you do not seem excited but trust me i'm excited your girl is moving on out okay she's moving out i'm so excited but i'm also tired i am drained i've been doing this i've been busy with work i've been Trying to put myself in so many different places at the same time. Your girl is tired. I am stressed out and I am overwhelmed. That's all I'm going to say. I'm tired. <laughs> I even have to go to a brunch today and I'm like, I'm tired. But at the same time, celebrations must commence. Celebrations must continue, period. I don't know what else to say. But I'm really excited. I'm nervous. I am thrilled. I am so excited to go on this journey and to share this journey with you guys i have been documenting everything so you guys will see in coming videos but please be patient i recorded everything i like when i tell you guys that i have so much footage that i need to edit i have so much footage i need to edit i just need to find the time so yes your girl is moving out i'm really excited I'm really, really excited, okay? But that is basically all I wanted to say for now that I'm moving out. I want to leave you guys out of the loop, especially if you guys, um, especially if you guys only watch me on YouTube and you guys don't have Instagram. I just wanted to share the news with you guys here. But, um, yeah, I've been vlogging like this for the past, I don't know how long, while I've been packing up my stuff. And this is what's really going on, okay? This is what's really going on. And it's been bugging me because I felt fake not telling y'all. But at the same time, I wanted to wait until the time was right. I still didn't really want to spill the beans yet, but, um... I had a contract I had a contractual obligation so I had to post about it. But yes, your girl's moving. Um y'all can finally see the side of my room. I don't have to hide it no more. Earlier in the vlog I even showed this up here. So fragrances are packed away. <laughs> I'm so sad. I have like five cents. I'm about to be smelling like a basic ass bitch. But either way, yeah, I'm moving out. I wanted to tell you guys this vlog isn't as long as I expected it to be, but I just wanted to put this together to give you guys a vlog today because i'm trying to stay on top of my content today i'm going to use a day to record videos and um so i can have content throughout the week for you guys i'm going to record my zara haul finally i have stuff in the mail but i'm just like f it i'm gonna just put it up and um anything else will go in the next video my fall collective trial haul i'm gonna finish recording that during the week and um yeah, I have some other videos I want to record today. But that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, comments, opinions on anything discussed in today's video. Remember, no questions. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And until my next video, which will be uploaded tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. It's gonna get me here Every time I said that